so hi guys this is our third class of data management systems so in the previous two classes we have talked some things about database management system how it works what kind of database management systems are there what is data what is information and many other things now uh, we will start with uh, what are the components of a database management system and move with other things so uh, let's start this class guys so first of all the database system environments there are three different modules in a database which are database component module then database system utilities then tools application environment and communication facilities so as we talked earlier we talked about database components right so there are some components modules available in DBMS, which are query compiler, then a pre-compiler, a runtime database processor, then stored data manager, then backup and recovery systems. Right guys? Okay. So if we see, we have a query compiler, right? We have a query compiler. Then we have a pre-compiler then runtime database processor and store data manager and backup and recovery systems. Okay. So what are these things, how these component module works? Basically there are component modules like a query compiler, which compiles a query, right? Then it op optimizes it. Then runtime database processor that process the data basically and store data manager basically that stores and manages the data how it should be stored where it should be stored and so on then concurrency control and backup and recovery subsystems that like uh, takes the backup and so on system like okay so there are many other components also available which you can see in the diagram so let's move ahead the second thing is database system utilities the second thing the database system utilities guys so what are these? First of all, loading utility, backup utility, database storage recognition, then performance monitoring utility, then other utilities may be available for sorting files, handling data compression, monitoring access by user, interfacing with the network and performing other functions. So there are many kind of utilities available in the database system. Uh, we need some basic utilities like performance monitoring utility, like how the database is performing, what are the like the charts are showing so, and so on. Then backup utility is very important, right? Then reorganization of data and storage, like basically all those things. So these utilities are also important. Let's talk about some tools and application environments. So first of all, CASE case, which is known as computer added software engineering tools. So case tools basically uh, helps to insert and like uh, update the data, right? Then data dictionary or data repository system. Then we have data dictionary or data repository system. Then we have application development environments, APIs. Okay. Then interface with communication softwares. So these all things are available uh, in our database management system, guys. Okay. So these are simple tools, application environment, and communication facilities. Uh, total DBMS is mixed with all these three things basically components tools and utilities okay now let's talk about relation calculus tuple relation calculus trc okay the full form is important guys what is trc tuple tuple relational calculus tuple relational calculus like so what is tuple? Tuple is a row. 
and what is relation relation is a table and to perform the math on this table and row we need a special kind of calculus that is called tuple relational calculus uh okay there is a question uh questions are easier as compared to gate level uh they can be quite similar guys they can be quite similar okay so tuple relational calculus basically uh tuple is a rope and relation is a table and calculus is the special kind of math which you perform on both of these okay let's see how this tuple relation calculus works TRC, TRC guys, we are talking about it. So, tuple relational calculus is a non-procedural Fourier language, unlike relational algebra. Tuple calculus provides only the description of the Fourier, but it does not provide the method to solve it. Thus, it explains what to do, but not how to do. Okay. So, basically, it is like the algorithm of query structure like uh, you can write a program you can write a program or you can write a algo right you can write a complete program program will execute and perform uh, like give you the results but algo algorithm basically like tells you how you should write a program in any kind of language, right? Similarly, TRC. TRC is, is a like algorithm for query structure, right? So basically it will tell you how you should write a query, but it is not the exact query. Okay. So tuple relational calculus is a non-procedural query language, unlike relational algebra. Tuple calculus provides only the description of the query, but not, but it does not provide the method to solve. Thus, it explains what to do, but not how to do. Okay. So, in tuple calculus, a query is expressed as something like this. Okay. You have curly braces, a uh, T for tuple and p for t right t is resulting tuple this t is resulting tuple and pt known as predicate and these are the conditions that are used to fetch t basically this t okay thus it generates set of all tuples t such that predicate pt is true for t so pt basically will be condition like it is condition for every this like amount is greater than 10 the age is greater than 30 for every that kind of thing that that kind of condition we will get t results okay let's see with the example okay like uh, if I want to combine these conditions, I have to know some logical combinations. Okay. So, and or not. Okay. So, PT may have various conditions logically combined with or which will be used as V and which will be shown as uh, A and not. Okay. Not. These are or and not okay okay remember this guys remember this this is important okay now it also uses qualifiers it also uses qualifiers right so like uh, if i write a query like this something like this then there exist a tuple in T, in relation R, there exist tuple in T, in relation R, 
such that predicate qt is true qt should be true okay there exist a tuple in t in relation r such that predicate qt is true the condition qt is true so we can write this like this okay this is the like tuple relation calculus okay and this qt is true for all tuples in relationship r okay qt is true for all the relationship in r okay okay let's move ahead and see how it works okay let's see one example guys okay here t is the resulting set t is the resulting set t in loan where this is our condition guys this is our condition t amount means the tuple amount is greater than or equal to 10000 right t in loan basically a tuple in loan and tuple amount is greater than or equal to 10000 right so this this and this so these all tuples will go in this t and we get this answer okay find a loan number branch amount of loan of greater than or equal to 10000 means we are getting a tuple we are getting a resulting tuple by this right okay i hope that is clear let's move ahead okay let's talk let's take the example number 2 guys